This video is brought to you by Unbox, a platform where you can find your favorite YouTubers, where you can connect with them and find the best products to suit your needs. Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our 30 day review of the Galaxy Note 9, the device that Brian Mill says, why would anyone not like the most complete smartphone? Everything about this phone reeks of awesomeness. Brian is right. Thank you very much, Brian. Now, the Galaxy Note 9, I've been using this device for 30 days. You're wondering, okay, Thunder E, you love this, we know, why? Why should I care? Why should I care about a device that's a thousand bucks? Now, granted, this is something, like I said, a lot of people are raving about the Galaxy Note 9. But I'm gonna walk you through some of the things I've done in the last 30 days that really have set my mind to what this device can do. So I've traveled a lot in the last 30 days. Right after Unpacked, I went to Miami. I spent three, four days there with friends. And what I did was I did a vlog. I recorded about 95% on this device. I used it and I used it extensively. I also went to Seattle this last weekend and I spent about four days in Seattle, PAX Prime, and I recorded everything, everything, 100% on this device. I also had a family trip in between, traveled again, and I took a lot of photos, videos, and I also flew my drone connected to this as well, and I spent a lot of time using this phone. But the three things there had three things in common, three trips. I recorded a lot on this device I use a lot of storage and I also probably drain a lot of battery. And those are three key areas the Galaxy Note 9 does a fantastic job. First off, the camera. The rear cameras are fantastic. They've improved it with scene detection. That does a better job in literally dropping the exposure now, which is something that Samsung's auto just couldn't do well in the past, but it did a really good job. And videos, photos look absolutely fantastic. Definitely go check out my Miami trip, my vlog. You can click on the links there. You can see the PAX Prime vlog as well and see how well the camera handles for both of those trips. And also, like I said, I did a lot of family trips. So for me, it was worthwhile. Second thing also is because of all those trips, I took a lot of photos. I recorded a lot of videos in 4K, which means you need storage. Storage starts at 128 and the next level is 512 and you can expand it up to 512, so you can get a terabyte. I don't have a terabyte, I have 128 internal here, and I have another 128 SS, um, sorry, uh, micro SD, which means I have a lot of storage. My Miami trip, I recorded 40 gigabytes worth of storage. Seattle was about 30, so that's 70 gigabytes. If I had a standard 64 gigabytes, nope, I would have to use an SD card, but I also have 128 SD card, so it doesn't really matter. I haven't dumped anything out, I have a lot of stuff, and, and accessing it is really easy. That processor, the Snapdragon 845, does wonders. It's been doing wonders the whole year. It's something we know quite well, so it's not something to overhype about. Now, the, eight, the 512 version has eight gigs of RAM. This has six. If you're gaming, doesn't matter. This thing runs cool. Uh, check out my gaming video. We can spend more time there on that, but the device is a beast. It is a beast in performance. It's a beast in specs. And because of that also, you've got a beast with battery life, 4,000 milliamps. That's the third part of my three trips. Because I'm recording, I either will be charging my device a lot and not taking the photos I want or recording the stuff I want to vlog about, but this handled well. Uh, if I was powering through as a power user, uh, not, you know, I was just using my phone heavily every day, it was about 14 hours. Um, if I used it casually, I could do 24 close to about 24 hours. So that's my range there with this device. Now if I was recording, when I was recording content through, just recording video 4K, um, I did maybe about six hours or so with that. Uh, that of course drains battery life pretty heavily, but this thing handled well. And those three things really set the device standards for me. It says the Galaxy Note 9, I can take it anywhere, I can pull it out, I can record, I can do my work for me, and I still have enough battery life, I still have enough storage, and I still have one of the best cameras to actually do that. That's a great place to start. Now, the other things, of course, design. It's slick, nice, great colors. You've got this nice, uh, I think, ocean blue, with, of course, the yellow S Pen uh, as well, which is pretty solid. The fingerprint sensor location is much better. Now, the heart rate monitor, I, I know why Samsung keeps it there, but 
don't think a lot of people use it as much, especially when you have things like the Galaxy Watch. Um, I think it makes more sense to take that away at some point in time. Uh, but you've got your fingerprint sensor in a good location. The display is so good. When you're showing off this display and you're showing it to people and you're going, hey, hey, look at this, look at this, look at Spider-Man, look, Spider-Man looks awesome on this. They go, wow, that looks really good. That's what you get with all that that you put into this device. Now, you've heard it from me, you've heard it from your fellow YouTubers out there, and they've talked about it quite well. And you can check out more of that at Unbox, who's our sponsor of this video. A place like we mentioned earlier where you can go and check out and uh, have a discussion with your influencers about the best kind of devices that suits you. And do go check out my profile. They have a list of things that actually fit. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything at all, basically. It's just you checking out and finding out what other influencers like myself um, think about especially with devices like the Galaxy Note 9 because they also do trending lists and this device has been trending there for quite a bit because people love it and it's not just the three things I mentioned earlier it's also things like the S Pen the S Pen is mighty mighty is the pen people say and this S Pen does a fantastic job besides the fact that you can pull it out you can write on the lock screen um, no other device can do that and it does really well you can create your notes you can uh, make your shopping list, you can do all those things, but it's got extra features. So when you pull out the S Pen um, and you look at the S Pen itself and you see all the features that you can actually do with this device, you go, wow, this is quite nice. You can create GIFs, you can go in there, pick out the S Pen, write notes, uh, smart select, screen write, um, translate feature, live messages, Samsung, update live messages, give me something new with that. That's what I'll say. Um, but the translate feature is also great, really nice. And then sketching, people sketch and draw. My friend, Royal Flush, um, I've been begging her to make uh, a sketch of uh, All Might from My Hero Acad Academia. So um, I'm gonna do a session with her where we just sit down and she's gonna sketch on this device. But think about that. Like, you know, if you're an artist, this, this is a great tool that is also your phone that you can do a lot of work with, which I think is absolutely fantastic. But the pen has more functionality. It's got a Bluetooth to the remote control where you can go ahead and navigate through by say, aka taking selfies with it. Um, you can also take photos, you can switch the controls, you can use it to navigate use YouTube. There's so much you can do with these controls that um, we added more with third-party applications, which is absolutely fantastic. So I think there's more to this device that meets the eye, especially just with the S Pen alone. Um, I think overall, though, Samsung has done a fantastic job. You know, you've got all those lifestyle features, so water resistance, dust resistance. Don't have to show it because it's standard. That's a standard feature that a lot of other devices don't have. You've got, you know, fast charging. Although, granted, Samsung, I think you need to move from uh, quick Charge 2.0 to Quick Charge 4. We need something a little bit faster. Uh, but you still have fast wireless charging, whether you're using the Samsung Wireless Charger Duo or you're using something like uh, this device I love. This is the Ion Wireless Charger. I love it. It's portable, it's small. It also has nice fabric texture, so I travel with that all the time. It's a great charger to actually use on the road. But when you're using devices like that, it, this Galaxy Note 9 is that kind of device that basically just adds a whole lot to Mystique. Now, it sounds like I'm overly gushing about this device and some of you are going, okay, what is wrong? There's gotta be something wrong. There really isn't. There are things to nitpick. There are things to say can be improved. Some people may not like, of course, the experience UI. I do, I'm fine with it. Some people may not like some of the features in there, but it, it, again, there are things that are nitpicky. We've got Samsung Pay, which I use quite a bit because it is the best payment system. I can use it anywhere, literally anywhere. Those are the things that I like that Samsung's run this ecosystem. You've got smart things. I've talked about smart things forever, years. This is not the first time. This is not some kind of pitch. It's something I use constantly. I've got a smart things hub. I've got 24 devices connected to it. I've got my smart home connected to it as well. And I can access it directly off my phone quite easily, quite fast, quite simply. So I think with the Note 9, software, hardware, the extra features, the battery, storage, camera, the display that looks absolutely fantastic, the fact that it feels very fine, uh, makes this one of the best devices Samsung has ever created. Now, there are a few things I'll say that, you know what, I would like to see changed. One is glass backs. I love the look, but seriously, I have to use cases. I have to use a case like the UAG case because I will crack it. 
people will crack it. That's just something you have to know. All devices are like that now. I also would want to see an improvement to the front-facing camera. It's nice, nice, needs improvement. To be honest, it does need improvement. So those are the things that I will like to see change. And also, of course, faster, fast charging as well. But I think this device really sums up the uh, what uh, Brian Mills said earlier, you know. Uh, this thing is packed with awesomeness. It just functions well. And it's one of the best devices out in 2018. So if you have any questions, any comments about my 30 day use, let me know. I want to thank again Unbox for sponsoring this video. Go check them out. We have a link for you guys down in the description and you can check out uh, what other influencers and YouTubers say about the Galaxy Note 9 and other devices that are trending up there. So this is Thunder E saying thank you very much. Leave your comments, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't, hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment.